Winona here. Well, yesterday I had to go out and run some errands and Grumpy Grandpa had Grumpy Grandpa stuff to do and Teenage Boy had Teenage Boy stuff to do. And the only thing on my agenda other than running some random errands was to clean the bathroom. So while I was out running errands, I thought, clean the bathroom or run to Dollar Tree. Clean the bathroom or run to Dollar Tree. So I thought I'd make a short detour and run to Dollar Tree. So I did. Because I was thinking that Dollar Tree would have just lots of spring and Easter craft supplies out. Because I had seen all these other YouTubers do their Dollar Tree hauls with so many beautiful spring and Dollar Tree craft supplies. So I thought it was time for Nona to go to the Dollar Tree and see what my Dollar Trees had. Well, not so fast, Tootsie. So I go to the first Dollar Tree and I walk in and the shelves are virtually empty except for leftover Valentine stuff. But never one to be deterred, I decided that I would walk the aisles because there were a few things that I needed that were necessary items. So I got some makeup cleansing wipes. These are the cucumber extract. I like the cucumber extract. And these are the aloe vera extract for facial makeup cleansing wipes. So I got two of those. So that was good. It wasn't a wasteful trip. And then I got some hygienic feminine wipes too. Those are good. Okay. Much better for a dollar. I had just been to CVS and at CVS they're $6.99. So, okay. So I did good there. Then I went back and they had some wooden things that I didn't have any of these little trays. And I like having these little trays on hand for in my supplies because you never know when you might need it. So I got one of those. And then they did have one of these signs, these tag signs, and these are always good to have in your craft supplies. And I had used the last one to do my Valentine swag. Um, if you hadn't seen that, I'll list it, uh, link it down below. It's really a neat uh, craft. So if you haven't done all your Valentine crafts yet, there's still plenty of time because Dollar Tree obviously has not gotten the memo that says Valentine's Day is February 14th because they still have Valentine crafts out and no spring and Easter stuff yet. So anyway, I got one of these tags that I can use for something for Easter or uh, spring if they ever get those craft supplies in. Okay, so then they had some different kinds of pretzels and we like pretzels and these are the honey wheat braided pretzels. So I got a package of those. And so then I decided to go to the front, to see what they had there that was left over or that they had for Valentine's. And we like these hearts, chocolatey and smooth, crisp and crunchy candies. Now, I keep hiding these because we keep eating them. Well, actually I keep eating them. And so I keep hiding them, but unfortunately I keep remembering where I hid them. And so then I find them and then I eat them. So I've got to find a better place to hide them where I don't remember where I hid them. And then Grandpa, Grumpy Grandpa helps me eat them too. So I got two packages of those and I'll have to hide them better for myself. And then I did find a few uh, spring things. And they always have this, <coughs> excuse me, and I never pick it up, but I thought for spring I should. These are the moss sheets. Okay, and I've never bought it before, but I see everybody using it for spring. So I bought two of those. That's good. And then they had these small uh, rings, uh, wreath rings. And I have an idea to use one of these rings, just the small inside one. So, um, and you get two for a dollar. So uh, these are the two eight inch wreath rings that you get two for a dollar. So I got a set of those. And then I've never seen these. These are foam letter stickers. Now I'm sure they're not new, but I've just never seen them before. Uh, you get 124 pieces of foam letter stickers. 
So I got some in yellow and I got some in green because I figured that was good spring and Easter colors. So I got those. That's good. And then I did find a few, just a few spring things. So I saw the floral section, you know, in the back and I went back and I found some tulips and I love tulips. So I found some real bright pink tulips. So I got some of those and then they had these two-tone tulips, which I liked. So I got several bunches of the bright pink and the two-tone tulips. But let me tell you, I had to search for these tulips through all the roses. Now, when I was looking for roses a week and a half, two weeks ago, there were none to be found. Now, there were roses all over the place. Every kind of rose that you could possibly think of, every color, every size, hundreds and hundreds of roses. I gotta tell you, I don't wanna see roses again until February 15th, and then I wanna see live roses that are on sale after Valentine's Day from Grumpy Grandpa. Until then, I don't wanna see another rose. I'm tired of roses. I've done my Valentine crafts. I still have one or two more to post. And if you haven't seen them, you need to see, go and watch them um, because there's some really good ones there. And Dollar Tree obviously still has a lot of Valentine craft supplies. But anyway, I got some tulips. Then I did find a few, just a few craft supplies for spring. I found these wooden butterflies, 10 pieces. They're just real thin cutouts of butterflies. So I figured I should grab those when I saw them. Then I found this ceramic painting set. It's for a kid, but it's a cute little bunny. And then I got home and I looked at it and I thought, Nona, are you crazy? Why did you pick up like three of these or four of these? And then they also had at the other Dollar Tree that I went to, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, they had these cute little chicks coming out of an egg. And I didn't get one of those. I don't know what I was thinking, probably wasn't thinking. But anyway, I'm, I'm not interested in these little paints over there, they're cheapy. But the ceramic bunny is cute, and I wish I had picked up a couple of them, but I did get one, so I'll go back. And then they had, and this was just random that was someplace in the store, these cute little felt stickers, bunny stickers. There were, there's 12 pieces, but here's the cute part. One part is the face, and then you can't see what they look like, but look, there's the feet too. So I guess you get one, two, you get three faces, and then three of the, of the, no, I'm wrong. I told you I'm not good at math. Six faces and six of the feet. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be back. Okay, my coughing fit is over and I went and took an allergy pill. So now we're on to Dollar Tree number two. So I think, okay, Dollar Tree number two has got to have a lot of Easter and craft supplies. So I walk in and all I see is red and a lot of boxes. So I'm feeling pretty encouraged. Except when I go closer, all the boxes have hearts on them and say Valentine's. I don't understand it. I feel like someone's pulling a prank on me. So I go around and I do find a few things that I've never seen before. I know these are things that everybody has and everybody's seen, but I haven't. These are the poster stickers, the peel and stick poster stickers. And you get 56 characters. And I've been looking for these because these are great when you want big letters, okay? Well, I got three packages of them because I've never seen them before. I, I guess they sell out really quickly. So I got three of those. And then let's see, did I get anything else? No, everything else. Oh, I got, I, I found one tulip that matches my other tulips. So I picked that up. So I'm walking around, walking around, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I go around to the front and you know how they have those little stands and I walk around one of the little stands and lo and behold, there is a, one of the little stands 
and from the top to the bottom is all Easter. Now it's just a little stand, it's not a big stand, okay? I've seen St. Patrick's stuff, one whole aisle. I've seen Mardi Gras on an end cap and I have maneuvered around boxes and boxes and boxes of Valentine's supp craft supplies and decor and stuff that they haven't unpacked. But there on one little stand is Easter supplies. Well, I stood there and I went from the top of that little stand to the bottom of that little stand and I picked up at least one of almost everything. So let me show you what I got. Oh, here's something I got that wasn't on that little stand. Some pruning shears. I need something really strong to cut some things. So I got that. So I'm, I did go over to the gardening section, okay, that was against the wall. That was before I found the little Easter uh, display. And I got two of uh, these clay pots. And let's see, two pieces, three and a half in diameter, okay, for a dollar. So I was happy about that because I wanted one. Of, I wanted two of these for uh, a craft. Then in the garden supply, I also found three pieces, two and a half inch diameter of these little clay pots. Okay, so I found those. So I was feeling okay. Tulips, one bunch of tulips, and these clay pots. All right. So now I find the Easter, this one little stand. So bunnies, bunny picks, aren't they cute? Got two of those. All right, then I found carrot picks, the big kind, all right? So I got two of those, all right? I'm feeling pretty good. Then they had the little carrot, you know, wrapped in whatever that is, thread, something. Okay, so I got two of those. There are six in each package. All right. Then they had foam eggs, 12 in a package, all different colors, and they have little pieces of ribbon on top that you can, you know, hang them. So I got two of those. Then I found the big eggs, six in a package, all pastel colors. Got three of those, all right. Then I found felt stickers of Easter eggs. There are six in those, six in that. All right, and there's stickers. Great. Moss bunnies. Oh yeah, three moss bunnies on there. And then I found on the very bottom shelf, cause you know, I tell you, you gotta look all the way up. You gotta look all the way down. That wasn't hard cause this was just a little stand. I found two rolls of Easter egg ribbon. And I think this is wired ribbon too but it's only three yards. And we all know I'm a terrible bow maker and I need more than three yards. That's, I got two, but they only had two, so I took that. And then they only had one of, and I thought this was so cute, of the Easter Bunny one with the uh, Easter eggs. Isn't that cute? But I'm hoping I'll find more of that. And again, this was only three yards. And I think it's the wired wired ribbon. So, I was very proud of myself because even though they had boxes of Valentine's supplies, I found some Easter supplies. What do you think? Didn't I do well? All right, so that was my Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned because I'm going to start doing some Easter and spring crafting. Uh, remember, Please supply, supply, please subscribe by hitting that button, it's free. Remember, it's February, so I am only posting videos now on Tuesday and Saturday.
but I'll probably be doing another video after this one at the same time, probably some kind of crafting video, because now that I've learned how to fast forward and voice over, I can put more content on a single video, okay? Also remember to comment, like, that's the thumbs up icon, and share, because it really does help my video, my channel grow. All right, so stay tuned, don't go away. There's probably going to be another crafting video right after this. Thanks so much for vi visiting, and remember to be kind to everyone out there, because there's a lot of crazy people. Nona here at my craft table. Today, uh, I'm going to do a painting technique that I've done before. My mom and I did it 100 years ago, and um, now they're doing it a different way, and I've been anxious to try it. So I'm going to try it today. By the way, if I have glitter on my face or glitter on my clothes or glitter in my hair, glitter on my hands, it's because I just finished a glitter, a project using a lot of glitter, and it's all over the place. So there's a good chance there's still some on my face or hands, so just ignore it like it's not there or that I just sparkle, okay? So what we're gonna, I'm gonna do it two, on two different items, this pe paint technique. It's called crackle. And when my mom and I did it, we had to get a crackle medium. And as I recall, it was kind of expensive. We did it on uh, furniture, like end tables or uh, book uh, shelves, things like that. But now they do it a whole different way. And there is crackle medium still available. And I think it's still a little expensive, but you don't have to buy the crackle medium anymore. There is now a technique just using Elmer's glue, which I forgot to get out, but I'll show it to you in a minute, um, which is a lot less expensive. In fact, you can just use plain old white school glue, which is really inexpensive. And you can get that at Dollar Tree. So, here's what I'm going to uh, try it on. First of all, I have this heart from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use the back side. And I am going to cut off the uh, twine hanger there, on, uh, fill in the holes, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it when it's finished. Okay, and so I've got my spackle to fill in the holes. Um, I'm, I have some red chalk paint. I have some white chalk paint. I have this kind of a paintbrush to put the first coat of paint on. And then I got these uh, other kind of, uh, I think they chip uh, paint brushes to use for the, to put on the uh, glue. And um, I have a sander so I can get the, um, the hole sanded down after I put the spackling on with my little makeup thingy. I have a heat gun because I want to try using the heat gun on one of the techniques and then not use the heat gun on the other technique. And I guess that's all I have for using the heart. So, um, where's my glue? I'll get my glue and I'll show it to you in just a minute. So, I'm going to turn this off. And I am uh, just gonna get started and we'll see how it goes, okay? So don't go away. So I'm painting this large heart uh, red, crimson red with my chalk paint. And they always say to use the first color as the dark color. And then I'm gonna let it dry. And then I am going to take my white glue, which in this case I'm using the Jot glue from Dollar Tree, and cover it with the glue. And it depends on how heavy of the glue you put on. The heavier you put the glue on, the, heavy, the bigger the cracks will be. And I've watched about six or seven videos, some of them seven or eight years old, but they all do it the same way. And you're only supposed to do 
one swipe of with the glue and you can see I'm kind of doing the glue at a angle on the heart so I'm doing one swipe of glue across the heart and I'm putting it on pretty thick because I want to do uh, large crackles we'll see how it turns out with one swipe and then you leave the glue dry for about five minutes until it's not completely dry, but it's still tacky is what they say. So I waited until it was kind of tacky. And then I'm going to take my white chalk glue and go over the white glue. And this is really important because they've emphasized that when you go over with the second coat of paint, that you definitely only do it with one swipe of paint. That you'll mess it up if you do more than one swipe of paint. And that's really kind of difficult because we really always want to go over and over our paint. But I'm being really careful and only doing one swipe of paint. So that's what I'm doing here is the one swipe of white chalk paint on top. And when I finish that, I'm supposed to let that dry. And I've decided that I'm going to try and use my heat gun because I'm impatient. There I'm showing you it's one swipe. Because if you use the heat gun, it's going to make bigger cracks, it says. So I'm using my heat gun to make it dry, and we'll see how the crackles come out. I can tell you that the more white glue you use, the okay, bigger the, the cracks gun, are. So you can see I got some really crackling. big cracks and on really the heart. Like the and then where I didn't put some real, a whole lot of places. glue, the so cracks are smaller. Put it over on the table so and let it uh, dry by itself. I'm going to put a bow at the top, and unfortunately there in the bottom left hand corner I touched naturally. the heart before the it was dry. Okay, I'm going to put this works, aside okay. and let it dry, and now I'm going to go to the first, uh, oh now, now I'm making the bow, and see where I'm gluing it down? That's where I touched it. Now I'm just doing a twine. Uh, to hang it up. Am I using twine or am I using, no, I guess I was using a um, pipe cleaner. Glue it on the back and there we go. The bow's made and that's how it looks. See how I glued down the bow there in the bottom left hand corner? That's because that's where I touched it. Don't forget to comment, like, and Okay, for this one, I have this arrow that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm going to break off the backs here and just use the arrow. Um, and this one, I'm going to use the Home Decor Chalk Paint in Victoria Antiguo. Um, Vic oh, Vintage Vic Victorian. It's real pretty pink for the background. I have some letters here that will spell spring. And I'm going to use this pretty uh, flower. It's a peony, peony, for uh, the eye. And um, because this is going to be my last Valentine DIY, that heart, I had it left over and I wanted to have something to try this technique on. So I'm going to use this to do the next one and we'll see how it turns out. So I snapped the legs off the back of it and I'm mixing up some red and white uh, paint to uh, paint in the, the letters because I want them to be a little bit darker than the pink on the arrow itself. So that's what I'm doing there. And uh, now I'm gonna paint the arrow, the pink, it's a real pretty pink, but I think I had to do like three coats because the pink was light and the word cocktails kept coming through. And I did the edges and uh, did about, I think I did, had to do about three coats. Okay, now it's time for the glue. 
and I'm not doing a lot of glue on this one because I want the cracks to be small. I'm showing you hands off. Now I'm using the white chalk paint to go over it and only one stroke. Don't go back over, just one stroke. That's the thing they really emphasized. All right, so now I'm not gonna use the heat gun on this one, see, hands off. And I didn't use the heat gun, I just let it dry and I let it dry for several hours so I didn't mess it up. Now I put the flower in the middle for the eye and I put my letters on and you'll notice my letters are not strictly in a line. I like to put things on a little jumbled. I think it's more interesting for the eye sometimes so my letters are not in a straight line. There you go. And I'm making sure the flower is down nice and tight. And then I'm going to use some twine in the back, glue it on so it will hang nicely right where those legs were. And that is the end. And there we have it hanging up. Isn't that pretty? Now I've decided that I'm going to do something different. I want to make a monochromatic one. So I did dark green on the back and light green as the cover. Um, everyone I had ever seen was always white over the top. And this one I put magnets on the back, three Dollar Tree magnets on the back, and hung it on my fridge. And you can see I did a bunny in the middle, a moss bunny that I'd gotten at Dollar Tree. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you so much for joining me today. And that is the crackle paint technique. Be kind to everyone because there's a lot of crazies out there. See you next time.